I need to implement signing using Google for a personal project. I watched Code to the Moon's awesome video about this topic. I followed every step and everything worked. But when I requested the token at the end of all the negotiation, I received this weird 400 error. The error is self-explanatory. I scrambled to read the UOAT documentation to see how I could add the client secret into the token request, but I failed. So I did the one thing that the police tells you not to do in these cases, to take matters into your own hands. I forked the UAuth repository and fixed it. Technically, it will be less work to just file an issue and wait for the author of the crate to get to it and help me out. But, you know, I guess I wanted to make life harder for me. I looked up at the variable configuration and found this bug. As you can see, the client secret is hardcoded to none. <laughs> I guess that is valid for OAuth providers that do not require that parameter. All I had to do is to add the client secret property to the config structure and to the new constructor. So take a look at this. I can use map to transform this optional of string into an optional of client secret. I love using this functional way of interacting with optionals as opposed to using match statements, but I guess to each their own, right? All right, so I added the client secret, tested with the repo and everything worked. Because I consider myself a good boy scout, I decided to create a PR that incorporates this change right into the UAuth uh, crate. Let me know in the comments when Citron accepts this PR. I incorporated OAuth into the UActix template, so you get OAuth out of the box, which is pretty fantastic, including sending the access token to the server. Kudos to Jens Greyman for creating such an awesome U integration with the Auth2 crate. This is fantastic. Kudos to Code to the Moon for creating an awesome tutorial on how to use it.